Game Ranks presents 10 of the best gaming accessories below 100 bucks. We got a bunch of cool stuff on this list that doesn't cost a fortune, and we actually have a little bit more than 10. So let's get started with number 10. For mouse pads, we have two recommendations. First, we have the Razer Firefly, a high quality, large mouse pad that has a bunch of different colors. Yes, this is the most colorful and most over the top ridiculous mouse pad you can get. It has chroma lighting that can make over 16.8 million customizable colors. That's 60 bucks, and if you're not feeling that flashy, you can get the Steel Series Dex for 40 bucks. The Dex is just a solid mouse pad with really high quality, non slip material. And the coolest part is that it was designed with professional gamers. At number nine, we have controllers for iPhone and Android gaming. For the iPhone, we recommend the SteelSeries Stratus wireless gaming controller. This thing is around 60 bucks and works for games on your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. And it's just a nice, high quality controller. And for Android gaming, we recommend the Game Clip. The Game Clip lets you hook up a PS3 DualShock controller, hold it in place, and play games via Bluetooth. And it's absolutely awesome because the DualShock controller is just an unbeatable controller. At number 8, for various memory purposes, you might need some SD card space. We recommend a SanDisk 32 gig Class 4 memory card. Oftentimes, you can find these bundled with micro SD cards, which are just as useful. At number 7, let's talk hard drives. For PC gaming, solid state drives are the best thing you can go for. And thankfully, Samsung offers a 250 gigabyte one for under 100 bucks. Be careful when shopping for solid state drives because sometimes they can be really expensive and sometimes they're a bit overpriced, to be honest. The price of these memories should be dropping down, and like we said, this Samsung one is probably the best because it's under 100 bucks. If you're looking to get your PC feet wet with some solid state action, this Samsung is the way to go. And if you're looking to upgrade the memory in your PS4 or Xbox One, since they only come with frickin' 500 gigs of memory, check out the Western Digital My Passport Ultra. You can get a 2 terabyte version for under 100 bucks. And they come in a bunch of different colors. They're very easy to install and easily improve your console experience immensely. Who doesn't want 2 terabytes of space? That's absolutely massive, and a ton of games you can store right on your system. At number 6, there's a lot of sound and speaker systems out there, but one we can recommend right now is the Mackie CR3. This is a pair of 3-inch sound monitors, with studio quality sound, a wide frequency range, and one of them has a handy little speaker switch that you can switch between left and right. These come in at exactly 100 bucks, and they have a really nice design, they have a cool little green trim. We also have the M Audio Studio File AV30. These are another pair of studio sound monitors that are a bit more beefy, but sound just as good. They might take up a little more space in your area, but if you're looking for just a clean black look, these are the way to go. And they're affordable and under 100 bucks. At number 5, we're down to controller accessories. For those of you that have a Nintendo 3DS but don't have the extra thumbstick, you can get the Circle Pad Pro for a really easy price. And it immediately increases the awesomeness of your Nintendo 3DS with an extra thumbstick that's really useful, especially if you're playing some Monster Hunter. And if you're really hardcore with your thumbstick joystick action, you can get the FPS Control Freak Vortex for Xbox One or PS4. These thumbstick add-ons provide better control and higher accuracy in first-person shooter games. They're designed to have decent grip that works with your thumbs, but not being too obnoxious and adding too much bulk to the controller. Some first-person shooter fans really swear by these, and they're definitely worth the value. At number 4, there are many PC gaming keyboards out there, but there's some we can recommend under 100 bucks, like the Steel Series 6G V2. While it might not look that fancy, it's a mechanical keyboard at its finest, and it's just solid and reliable. I mean, look at the thing. There's no bells and whistles, it's just perfect design. And on the other hand, if you're looking for something a bit funky, at 100 bucks you can find the Razer Black Widow Ultimate Edition. This is another mechanical keyboard, but of course, being Razer, it's all lit up and green and pretty. It gives a little bit more space for your wrists, and it's a nice keyboard. And it's always good to have a nice keyboard designed with gaming in mind. Of course, if you don't like the green and it puts you a bit out of your price range, you can get the standard edition. At number 3, we can recommend a gaming chair. Now, gaming chairs can usually cost a small fortune, but we did find one for 100 bucks, and it's one that I actually use. I'm sitting on it right now. Search for the Highback Executive PU Leather Ergonomic Office Chair. Sure, it's not specifically a gaming chair, but it works well, and I play video games in it all day. It comes in at just under 100 bucks. You can put it together yourself, and it looks pretty nice with a simple black look. If you use this one, let me know in the comments what you think about it, because I think it's pretty decent. At number two, we're talking gaming mouses, and we have two recommendations for you. The gaming mouse is an object that you can go way overboard with and spend over $100 easily. But we can recommend the SteelSeries Rival Optical Gaming Mouse, because it's just about around 50 bucks, and it's a reliable, solid mouse, and it looks nice. It doesn't have any crazy bells and whistles, but it's just great design, with a perfect ergonomic form factor that you just can't go wrong with. And then on the other end, we have the Razer Death Adder Chroma. This is very similar to SteelSeries' rival, except it's just a bit more flashy, if you just love that green that Razer is into so much. It's reliable, feels good, has a 10,000 DPI optical sensor, and you can adjust the sensitivity on the fly, which is actually pretty useful. At number one, we gotta talk gaming headsets. The one under 100 bucks we can recommend is the HyperX Cloud Gaming Headset. For under 100 bucks, it's a decent value because it comes with a two-year warranty, and it's fairly comfortable. 
It's designed in Sweden. It comes with the mic, the long cable, everything you need, and it works for PC, PS4, Mac, with your phone, and with Xbox One with an adapter that's not included. It's reliable, it comes with extra cables, a microphone, and a carrying case. Basically everything you need. So if you're on a bit of a budget for a headset, the HyperX is definitely worth checking out. And at number one for gaming headsets, we can recommend the Astro Gaming A30 PC headset. This is a pretty basic PC headset with a microphone and decent speakers, and Astro is known for great build quality, so they're really comfortable, especially for the cheaper price. You could swap out the cables, and you can swap out the covers on the ears, so if you ever wanted a little bit more of a custom-style headphone, these might be up your alley. So guys, that was a list of some of the best gaming accessories you can get below $100. Yes, if you're not looking to break the bank for stuff, these are some of the products we highly recommend, and you can get most of them on Amazon. We also linked all the stuff below, because we're just trying to make your life easier. If you did find anything you like here, let us know in the comments, and maybe give us a like. If you got some other alternatives of great stuff for under 100 bucks, definitely let us and other people in the comments know, because we want to buy shit. And of course, if you are new, subscribing is good, because we do stuff like this, we do other videos, and giveaways all the time. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon.